So here we are in March. Finally, we got some uh, nice and bright weather. And yeah, so what I've done this morning, um, feeding my animals. This one here, the TMR mixer, is almost empty. I got 18,000 liter, but yeah, I still got some bales here, so we can still make some TMR. Uh, the only thing I've run out of is uh, straw. Uh, so during the winter months, I have actually bought myself straw bales. But today, uh, my barley field is ready to harvest. So yeah, finally we can collect our own straw. So what I'm doing here, since I do not have any um, outload trailers for pallets, I need to do this manually. You know what? Uh, I don't mind it. Um, you know, some days I have really good time to play. Uh, you know, hours. And then uh, this doesn't actually bother me. Uh, and, you know, I got some training with pallet handling. <laughs> like, like we did in... Uh, I need the lights. Uh, FS19. I'm not saying I'm good at it, but uh, it never hurts to, to practice a little bit. And no, I cannot do this uh, in cab. Uh, that's <laughs> that's not possible. Well, it's possible, but... Uh... So these are going down to the spinnery, and the spinnery is... Um, distributing these to uh, my tailor shop. And yeah, I might have to look into um, also selling some uh, clothes today. Uh, my money has probably gone up. Uh, I haven't watched it actually, but I, I've done some changes to my, um, what should I say, the olive trees. So now I put all the olive trees into distribute, no, into selling. Not the distribution to selling. Oh, can I get two of these? Oh no, that's not good. There we go. Um, yeah, so all the olive trees now are on selling. And that's because, yeah, I had a lot of pallets. These olive trees are <laughs> really cranking at it. <laughs> they are pulling out, each tree is pulling out like three to four thousand or three to four pallets every day. And yeah, I got seven trees, so that's like 20 pallets every day. So what I have done, um, if we go into maybe flight mode there, uh, what I have done is, yeah, as you see inside here, um, I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of pallets with olives, and yeah, these I also need to manually, unless you know suddenly we get an outdoor trailer in the mod hub, which I have, which we haven't had for weeks. So all of these now, yeah, there are some pallets uh, which I missed, but they, they are in distribution. Uh, some leftover bales, straw bales for my pigs. So what I've done, I bought myself one of these bale shredders. So now also these guys can get some bedding. The manure heap is really filling up now, that for sure. Um, grass field is ready. And look at this, the canola field, which I was supposed to use on my pig food shredder, is ready. But I'm not using the pig food shredder anymore. It's, yeah, it's too complicated. Well, not complicated, but it, it requires so many products. And with the growth time uh, in this game, uh, yeah, it's really difficult to keep it up, so to speak. Uh, but my barley field is also ready to harvest. So now I have a lot of chicken food 
Uh, I might keep most of it for my chickens, but this also means that I got a lot of straw. <whistles> straw for TMR mixer, straw for bedding. So I might, you know, I, I think I'm gonna buy myself um, a baler. So we can do straw bales. And there's no, oh, there's no like new, why won't this fit? Uh, there's no balos uh, which I can use modded ones. I was so good at this now, why doesn't this wanna fit? Uh, but I know there is one uh, one high density baler uh, in game. Uh, I don't know if it makes uh, bigger bales or if it's just the name. Uh, there is one. What is it? New Holland. What is going on here now? I was on a good path there, all the way until you guys came in. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. Balos. Oh, let's check used equipment. Nah. No goodies. Let's see. Uh, I know there is one of these guys. This one here. Will this... M Big bale or high density bale sizes, square bales up to 240 centimeter. What what's normal on square bales? 240. Hmm. So I don't think it it is anything special about it. We got some round bale of there. I wanna make as big as possible bales. Because, um, yeah, they're going in the um, team arm mixer and uh, as bedding, so I want to make as big as possible bales. But anyway, I'm going to deliver these to the uh, spinnery and then uh, we can test out our uh, brand new John Deere X9. Well, it's not brand new. Uh, we bought it on sale. But yeah, we're probably going to need to repair it. It's got 17 hours on it. Fuel is good. Alright, alright. So, we need to start harvesting. I can see on the weather forecast that rain is coming in. Oh man, there is some really severe, severe weather going on now. Uh, actually, through the whole world. Except for here in Norway, here we got, <laughs> like, well, the weekend was pretty good. Uh, I'm recording this on, what day is it today? Uh, Monday, 10th of July, actually. Uh, so the, uh, the weekend was really good. Oh, I need to have the, uh, this one on, enable straw spot, there we go. Um, so yeah, the weekend was pretty good, uh, but today it was back to normal Norwegian summer, 16 degrees Celsius, rain, um, windy, and yeah, just a normal summer day. And then you're reading uh, and hearing in the news that in Spain there's a heat wave and they got like 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, India is raining down, uh, the same uh, is in the US, there's a lot of uh, high water in the US, and yeah, <laughs> and just before I went on here uh, today, um, I see that there is a volcano a breach, is that the correct word? Well, there's a vo volcano in Iceland which is about to uh, erupt. So there's, you know, that that's big news in Norway, you know, it's, um, 
it's our neighbor country and you know last time one of those volcano erupted there was a lot of Norwegians that got um, ash what do you call it in English you know all the airplanes went down well not went down but uh, the, they couldn't fly because of the ash in the air which is pretty scary actually uh, and now you know there's a lot of Norwegians um, on holiday in different countries all over the world so there, there's actually now um, a live um, a live broadcast minute from minute from this uh, Icelandic Icelandic uh, volcano but yeah here normal everything is pretty normal um, my vacation well I've already had uh, a week with my two girls in Bulgaria and that was a perfect holiday everything was pretty good the weather the food me and my kids were having a blast uh, but from next week uh, the kids are coming back they are going to stay with me for another two weeks they have been on holiday with their mom now for two weeks so I got the two last weeks in July and I actually haven't planned anything nothing <laughs> and <laughs> you know it's kind of a relief that I don't have any plans um, what I think I might do is I think we're gonna have maybe if the weather is pretty good uh, we'll just jump on a road trip in here in Norway um, you know just drive after the weather where the weather is nice uh, you'll find us <laughs> uh, you know that now that you know it's really expensive for us Norwegians to go abroad now because uh, the Norwegian currency is very bad uh, compared to dollar and euro it, it hasn't been lower than yeah for many many years so before oh, uh, you know as an example um, just for a couple of some years ago um, we were paying like uh, seven Norwegian kroner for one euro and today you have to pay 12 Norwegian kroner to get one euro so that that's a really huge uh, impact uh, especially if you're going to a country which using euros and the same goes for dollar I remember yeah, maybe 10 years ago uh, or did I say dollar now? yeah dollar and you can buy one dollar for um, also around seven eight kroner but now the dollar is 10 11 I think it is so yeah that that's why there's, there's no not that many Norwegians going on abroad on holiday this year but there's a lot of uh, foreign uh, tourists coming to Norway because now they are getting a lot more for the euros and uh, dollars than they did before there we go I'm gonna oh man these straw piles are really gonna be a pain in the back pocket all right this barley here is going uh, straight into my silo and yeah I might go for that uh, high density baler maybe we can lease it and see if there is um, if I can get some bigger bales out of it I doubt it oh my English is pretty good today uh, but you know you have um, do, do, do. you have some modern ones but you know I'm not allowed to use them they are more than seven days old these guys are and also the there's a selectable bale these guys 
selectable and i've actually i don't think i've used them but these guys here you can get like what is it 20 000, like this one here 244 centimeter high density selectable bait size i think for straw you can get like 20,000 liter bales it's crazy all right i got some work to do now let's see the shape on this field here um yeah i might do one more headland and then i'm gonna probably set of a worker north south like this yeah all right i'll see you in two seconds or maybe half an hour for my sake oh position farming how's the score it was 97 oh it's gone down no all right i'm good so there we go the barley is in and the straw is left behind <laughs> wow this is gonna take a hot second but anywho so we got a hundred and twenty four thousand liter uh, like i said it's going straight into my silo um but before i pick up the straw i think i'm gonna jump straight over the road here and also do my canola field and that's because of that rain coming even though on the uh, weather forecast it doesn't say any rain before oh now it's 1700 earlier it said 1500 so it's shifting a little bit but anyway you never know you never know suddenly um these kind of weather systems come in much earlier so yeah i'm gonna this uh, this field here is pretty oddly shaped so i think i need to do at least two maybe three headlands on this one oh position farming Let's see, the other field was left with 97, I think. Yeah, 97. So this is also dropping a little bit in the beginning. Uh, but it should come up also. But anyway, I'm going to harvest this one. And yeah, next thing will be uh, straw baling, I think. So there we go, we need to clean up our equipment after harvesting and I also need to repair this bad boy and it comes pretty high on the cost, that's for sure. Uh, looking at here, the John Deere 8100. Alright, we better do it. And also the header I'm gonna repair, bam, like so. So now all my fields are harvested and we can start to prepare a little bit. But we need to, um, I, well, I need to pick up the straw. So we got 42,000 liter with canola. And yeah, like initially I was supposed to use this uh, for my pig food shredder inside here. But yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, uh, to buy the pig food since the pig food is pretty cheap on this map now. So, next thing, um, baling, <clears throat> baling the uh, straw. And this part of the video, I actually am recording on Tuesday. So, this recording here has gone over two days. Ooh. And today, just before I went in here, we got a really nice, hopefully, a new mod that I can use um, and especially for my pallets because inside here I got 52 whole ones plus a whole lot of smaller ones not fully a thousand liter but yeah roughly 60 pallets with olives yeah these are the half full ones 
Um, but there's a new mod today, and it's called, let's see, I think I found it on the miscellaneous. And it's these guys here. Just download it, and you can choose between 20 foot, 20 foot auto load, and unrealistic, which keeps it up to 100,000 liter. Let's check the big boy. 240. 240 pallets. Oh my god. <laughs> I think the maximum amount of loose pallets you can have on PlayStation 5. Isn't that 75? But anyway, I think I'm gonna go over this one. Um the thing is you need to you need to have something to lift up with this one. And I see there are some pallet fork uh, grooves there, so I might use um, might use the uh, maybe the small tele handler. We'll see. If not, I'm just gonna lease myself um, a wheel loader, I think. Or maybe we can try it with this guy here. This should have more lifting capacity. But first of all, I'm gonna do all the bailing, and yeah, I'm just gonna pick uh, one of the in-game square balers, so we can get the straw in-house. What's the advertising for today? Kitje je energia prišliu. Okay, so solar panel energy. So I went with the in-game New Holland high density baler and US version actually. <laughs> so <laughs> this is another thing, another in-game thing I've never tested or used before. And it says it does up to 240 centimeter bales, but it's high density. So will the bales be bigger? Um, now, of course, uh, let's see, uh, change bale size, uh, 180 to 240. So here we go, what did I say? Uh, didn't I say 50 bales? A wild guess. I know there are some bits and bobs there, but uh, anyway, I don't have, um, what do you call it, OCD. So these small dots here and there, I'm good with it. I'm pretty good. 50 bales. Well, we got um, 55. So not too shabby. So let's see if this uh, hopefully will take these. Let's see, operating. Nice. Yeah. What? Unload bales. Unload bales here. Why is it doing that? There we go. Oh. All right. All right. Uh. All right, the uh, bales are in, and yeah, I should probably start to uh, prepare my fields, but yeah, I, I need to do this first. <laughs> so, I, I have no idea how long this thing is, but if I go for the smallest one, it sh hopefully should fit on here. Uh, the other thing which I'm a little bit worried about is these pallet fork here. Uh, this is the widest I can get them. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for the smallest one, this guy here. Where we can have it up to a hundred, yeah, a hundred pallets in this one. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go with Farming Simulator 22. Uh, let's see, colors. We have some really nice um, uh, satin colors down here. Maybe we should go blue. Or should we go John Deere green? You know what? I think I'm gonna go blue. Yeah, let's go blue. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm gonna lease it. Let's see how big it is. It doesn't say how big it is. 
it says it's only weighing 1.5 ton. So we should be able to lift this with, um, there we go, 142 to lease. Let's see, let's disconnect that one. We should be able to lift it with this guy here. Oh, there we go, it's not that big. One and a half thousand liter. Uh, one and a half thousand liter. One and a half thousand kilograms. It's not more than uh, one and a half pallet. No, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, I'm taking it. There's no collision on it. <gasps> All right, I'm taking that. <laughs> There's no collision on it. Okay, let's get this on board before I lose it. You know what? This guy here, I could probably get on my small trailer let's see here now uh yeah here maybe i can get it on this one or maybe not all right um <clears throat> it says something in the mod up that this has you know its own um it's on the cargo straps. Let's see how now. Like a glove? Yeah, I know I could probably go for the big one, but um, I, I don't need capacity for 240 pallets. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we get the uh, tension belts on here now. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got one weird one. Two weird ones, but uh, okay, there's some kind of collision right there. Uh, but do I get the option now for unload, reset? Oh, oh this is going to be interesting. It's <laughs> it's a pallet autoloader on a bale autoload trailer. So the uh, reset uh, operating position, that's for the trailer itself. It's not for the for the racket. But yeah, we need to try this. All right, here we go. Uh, first of all, we need to get out the pallets. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to try to take... Yeah, not all of them. 30 is the maximum. Okay. Yeah, 30 pallets. Bam. Ooh, okay. Oh, of course, that one is in the way. The bucket. You know what? We can just lift it with us, can't we? Nope. Okay. Ooh, that's... What? That's full of olives. <laughs> oh, that's because the bucket was stuck inside. I had the bucket inside here, and then the map got an update, and I put all the pallets in here, and, <laughs> and this one was stuck inside. All right, there we go. Okay, buddy, come on, load. Do I need to loosen the tension belts? Do I need to be closer? Okay, I'm gonna get this bucket here out of the way, like so. Take tension belts on again. Oh, man. Let's see, do I need to be... Let's see, now I'm on the trailer, but that's the uh, bale trailer. Come on, buddy. Let's try operating position. Nah, that's full of bales. Why? 
why won't this work? Um, okay. Um, bu 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 I think maybe it could be a height issue. Let's see, let's take tension belts off and uh, let's disconnect that one. The thing is now, um, if I have to do this on the cell point, then I'm in big trouble. Because if we're gonna load this one here with what, 55 pallets uh, of olives, I would not have a chance to lift this up again. Oh man, what to do now? Um, should we take the risk? I wonder if we can take this one on uh, an IT runner. Doesn't seem like it. Nah, okay. I'm taking the chance. Come on, buddy, fill up. I'm getting nothing. Oh, there we Ooh! 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 Oh, wow, that loading point is not big, that's for sure. Whoa, oh, 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 yes, it is big. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so now we got, what, 25, 27,000 liter. Now, let's see if that weight there is um, somehow real. No, it's not beautiful. All right, now we can take the rest out. Um, oh, do I need to take one and one and one and one? Oh, there we go. Those 22 I want. Oh, that's great. All right. I'm just going to put it all the way down and I'm just going to push it in here. Nice. All right, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Self points now. Uh, olives. What did I say? Um, ba -ba 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 Selena. Oh, that's with the train. Oh man, I'm gonna put this whole thing on the train. If there is a flat deck on the train. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. This is gonna be fun. So, we should have the train here in 450 meter. Uh, so what I have done, uh, I've lined myself up here. Uh, so what I'm hoping is that maybe on the train... There we go. There is a flatbed. So I can, <laughs> I can put this one onto the flatbed. Let's see here now. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, okay. Is that going to work? I know that this, uh, this, <laughs> this, uh, let's see, um, this autoload container here is probably gonna fly around, but you know what? We need some fun. We need something. <laughs> it cannot only be routine and all realistic, even though, you know, autoload trailer. This, uh, of this kind is probably not the most realistic thing you have seen. Uh, let's see how now. Let's get into this. 57,000 liter with olives going to Selena. Why can we lure this one into here? Maybe in between those stands there, like so. Let's check the height here now, buddy. Uh, my front loader is going in between. Uh, let's see here now. 
Well, this seems like a <laughs> very bad idea. <laughs> the thing is now, if I put it down, I'm not probably gonna get it up again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what, what I, you know what? I, I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> I'm gonna save the game here in case you know none of the um, none of the olives actually get sold and everything just fly over. Let's see, we need to adjust a little bit here. Oh yeah, okay. Like a glove? Okay. That worked pretty good. I thought, you know, in worst case, I could... This is probably just for sugar beet, but this is uh, this is also a kind of a system here. Um, okay, go, go, go. Come on, buddy. This, <laughs> this just has to work now. Let's get in here, cruise control on. Uh, do I have tension belt on this one? Let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth cart. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, there are tension belts. Let's see, oh no, I cannot zoom out enough. But it's still, <laughs> it's still hanging in there. Come on, stay in place. I wonder if we get the notification now if I want to sell olives. Come on, buddy. Where's the sell point? Oh, it's coming here. It's coming here. <sighs> do, do, do. Oh, the train will now drive to Selena and return of the other. No, nothing. Nothing? Where's my olives? What? <laughs> did it just drive away with my olives? Or did the olives, you know, just fly all over the place here now? Um, I don't see anything. I didn't get anything paid for it. Now I'm glad I saved the game, because then I can come back to that point. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, yeah, no, my money did not go up. And I don't see any... ...olives over there. Nah. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, uh, so what I need to do, I need to go back to this. Bam, I need to rent the train. It's coming in 4.1 kilometers, and <laughs> let's see if <laughs> the olives are still on board. Alright, the train should be just around the corner here now, so let's see if my olives are still there, or if I need to go back to... Uh, Latest save. Let's go up in the air here now and see. <laughs> oh man, I fear the worst one. There. Oh, you're kidding me! What? It's been to Selena, but it hasn't been sold. Huh. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, can we tap to the train? Yeah. Okay, so I'm on the same cart. Eight, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna lose tension belts like so. There we go. Now it's been shifted backwards. It's not on the exact same place. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a little bit more tricky to get it out from here. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, now, buddy, let's go a little bit 
Oh, nein, 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 nein. Uh, oh, let's slide it through that body. Easy now. Oh, like a glove. <laughs> so what I probably have to do is I probably have to um, let's get this. oh yeah it is a little bit heavy but I don't think it's more than uh, the weight on the uh, rack itself one and a half thousand liter one and a half thousand kilos uh, so we probably if I put it down here maybe it will unload Okay, let's see here now. Boop. Like so. What does it say? Why don't I have this on? Yes, I have everything on. It doesn't say anything. No. It won't take anything. Do I need to take off those tension belts? No, that's impossible. So how? <laughs> I'm not able to sell her. Well... Nah. Let's see, do I get any options here? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, okay, next best thing then is to go to... Just the transport company, just over there, I think. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna drive. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna put it on the trailer. <laughs> I don't wanna lose it. So, I'm on the transport um, company, and yeah, this is not the cell point. Uh, we have one cell point over there, uh, those are for potatoes and sugar beets, uh, but there's also one cell point over here, so I think I need to, um, I need to test out both of these. Uh, that over there, the silo one, that, that's gonna be a difficult one one because I can't get that uh, this uh, cassette of uh, olives I cannot get it in there let's see I need to line myself up here yeah now I'm just thinking uh, um, all right all right all right I'm gonna try the the one to the right first I think let's get into this are we this is it's actually really easy to handle that's a really big plus, that's for sure. Um, so here, uh, it could be here on this one. Come on, buddy. Sell. And the money is not going up. How in the world am I, am I gonna get rid of these olives now? I'm not getting any options of uh, getting off those straps, sir. Nothing. Hmm. Does it need to be on a different elevation? No. Do I need to tip it a little bit? Ooh, no. I won't do that. Okay, I'm going over to the other place there. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'm stuck with 57,000 liter with olives. So how should we do this? Um, oh, the thing is now, uh, maybe I can push it in. Uh, but there's two cell points there. Why are there two cell points? This is the tipping mark. This is a tipping mark. It's not for taking out. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck with these. 
I'm gonna try to push it into her. That sounds like a good idea. Ooh, okay. Um, this is about, you know, uh, testing out new mods for the first time. Uh, not always a great idea. Let's tilt these guys up like so maybe and down like so maybe I can steer it is the money going up no oh I, come on oh come on buddy get in oh do we have collision on this side oh there we go come on money Money, money, money! Nothing! I'm getting nothing for this. So how am I supposed... <laughs> God damn it! I'm sorry, bad words. Okay, I need some pressure. Hey! So, um, a little bit more uh, <laughs> try and failure. Uh, I just looked at Mr. Sealy P's uh, mod review of uh, this one, and he had different uh, kind of flatbed trailers, including this one, the one from the Platinum expansion. But I didn't get anything, um, you know, unloading options at all. So what it says also in the mod hub when it comes to this guy here is that the uh, recommended trailer is the, um, oh what did he call it, it's also by Hispano, um, let me just check here, uh, I just had it, it's called Tipping Container Trailer Pack. So I downloaded this one, Tipping Container Trailer Pack. This is also by his panel. And the great thing about this one is that you can also configure it to have a ball, uh, ball hitch. So you don't need to have a semi-truck. So this one you'll find on the trailers. And do, 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 do. there we go. So it's different, three different sizes. You know, I haven't used that much containers in FS22. Uh, I think I used it once on Silverun, um, you know, for auto-loading uh, logs. But this one here, you can configure to also have this 20-foot tractor and 20-foot tractor plus tension belts. So this is the one I've leased now. So I'm hoping um, to either that this will connect directly and that uh, I'm getting the uh, unloading option. It's my plan. <laughs> and if so, I'm gonna keep these. Uh, like I said, I'm recording this on the 11th of July. Uh, so this is brand new. So I can keep this for seven days. Let's see, and I'll, do I need to fit these guys? Oh! oh. Okay, buddy. Easy out there. There we go. Now, let's see if we're getting any options of unload her. Bam. Attach. Oh, there we go. Attach lizard 20 foot. Ah, there we go. It's slided into place. Now it disconnected it. Ah, okay, let's see now. Oh, now we're getting the option of unload. All right, back to the train station. Or should I just sell it there? I know, when, when I saw the mod review of Mr. CDP, um, when he unloaded the uh, pallets, the pallets went, you know, 
one and one off or like five and five off to the side uh, or maybe uh, you know what I'm, I'm gonna test it out there on transport company I'm hoping to get the start overloading uh, option I'm on the rack now yes there we go, start overloading olives. The price difference wasn't that big, was it? Uh, olives. Nah, $100. I need to lease the train also. So! There we go! 185,000, 25,000 in position farming score. I'll take that. So yeah, it's um, it's a great mod as long as you know how to use it, <laughs> and you're having this specific trailer here. Uh, wow, I'm go I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna use this for my wool pallets. I'm also looking at uh, prices for uh, clothes. Clothes. I cannot say say that word. Clothes. And tomorrow, I think in April. Uh, is the highest prices for clothes so I probably maybe I'm gonna just drive this I'm gonna keep I'm gonna drive it back to my farm and yeah that that the um, we are on the 11th of uh, July and that means I need to follow my rules this guy here is now seven days old so I need to deliver back this one I also need to deliver back uh, let's see where are we here now buddy uh, the big one the mega trailer because that's also the 53 foot so I need to go in here into least object and these two here I need to deliver back now uh. and I need to deliver back that low loader from platinum expansion there we go and we're good to go all right <laughs> I think this was enough messing around today. Um, so I think we're gonna call it the day right there. Uh, I need to start to prepare my fields. Yeah. Whew, I'm so glad I got this to work. Thanks to Mr. Sealy P. The legend himself. Thanks for watching and bye bye.